All right, all right. Good morning, everyone. Justin again, as always. Thanks for watching my channel. Welcome back to our Saturday. This shop is really my home away from home. It's it's just like going to another house, really. Anyway, we're here. We got our box filled with parts. And we got a cylinder head job on this Hyundai, like I had said. I know some people hate it when I pronounce it like that. But at any rate, we got to look up some service information. Find out what top dead center is for the camshaft and the crankshaft car. Get our torque specs for the cylinder head bolts. Uh, clean up the mating surface and go to work. Now, if I remember correctly, this one has hood strut failure. It's really weak, so I'm going to have to get some clamps for that. But we got a little cleaning to do. I got to get my under hood light. <clears throat> Welcome to my Saturday. Work, man. I was just telling my kids, Hustle 101. If there's work to be done and you're short on cash, go to work. And that's what we're doing. So I'm going to get a few things set up here. Check out some specs and uh, take you guys along for the ride. So where's your little partner in crime these days, sir? Too, too hot for the little guy here. Too hot for Mr. Sunny? Feels nice in here though. Oh, I got gotcha. you. All right, what's going on everyone? Justin again, as always, thanks for watching my channel. Welcome back to your wrench Monday. We're on Jeff's truck, checking it out. Some of the stuff you guys have seen, some of the stuff Maybe you haven't, maybe you knew. I don't know. Let's check it out. All right, let's check this gear wrench set out here. Two-piece 92's technology, locking flex head. This one, that's a bigger set. Oh, check that out. 120 XP, half inch, three eighths, and quarter inch. Lifetime warrant, that's a nice setup right there. Here's that Sabre light. This is a great underhead light. You got these 12 points. Yes, you still need 12 points, believe it or not. Swivelly pivlies. These things definitely have their use and come in handy. Some VIM. VIM is a pretty good little deal. You know what I was looking for is I needed the uh, VIM triple square set. That's what I was looking for because it comes with quarter inch be surprised there it is how handy these things are on euro cars that's the set that we were looking for guys did you not those are the ones so probably get that today don't really need a whole bunch else but i've worked on a handful of euros enough to know that i need these for sure tucked out in the back pocket there okay got some crow's feet Metric set. Three piece locking ring pliers set. Very nice. Platinum. Some stepper bits. Those have their use and come in handy. I've had this VIM putty knife and chisel set. This thing's great. I use it all the time. Um, no complaints from the people that I've seen that own this, to include one of the guys in the shop. Pretty nice little impact hammer if you're working on brakes. This is a must for my lube guys. Even my senior techs out there, if you don't have one of these, these things come in handy for more than just the oil cartridge sockets. You can use these on the camshaft uh, sprocket bolts too. So thin profile, 
goes up to like 32, I think, or something like that. 36. 38. So covers a pretty broad range of sizes and a thin profile. All right, let's see, let's see here. Magnetic trays are always a must. Mm -hmm. Scissors are helpful. Spill-free funnel, that's nice. Down and dirty all-tail scan tool for someone that just wants to clear codes, check monitors. They have another one, I don't know if this is it or not, but it actually has a meter that's built into it, which is pretty good. I need to get this thing warrantied out, I think. Still kind of works though, so we did have some damage on it. There's an airlift, let's check this out here. You guys are wondering about different types. This one's straight up just called airlift. Let's take a look. Okay, so this is like a universal style for a lot of different vehicles. I still prefer the Matco one that I have, but I've seen people that have these and they like them just fine. I just don't want to be there holding it, if that makes sense. And I feel like you'd have to hold it if you had this style. And wrenches, okay, here we go. I think this is the one I got. I might have picked the gear wrench one. Could have been a uh, power torque from O'Reilly's, but I'm pretty sure, or Duralast. I'm pretty sure I got it off Jeff's truck though from a while back. This thing comes in handy. Let's see here, oh, look, mini refrigerator for your toolbox. Down and dirty pocket reader. Channel lock. An actor, they would buy it. Yeah, I was like, wow, this stuff's really good. Ingersoll ran. Titan brass hammer. Yeah, this stuff did like, well, I was, uh, was at Volkswagen for a year and I liked it. Let's check down here. Nylon sockets, those do come in handy, for sure. Dude, that was cool. Did we ever so, go through this Volkswagen Protect catalog? I feel like we did for June. Yeah, I think we already went through this one. I feel like we did anyways. Maybe just a quick skim for you. I'm pretty sure we went through that though already. Mm -hmm. Pretty nice sets. Does anyone have a need for these pass-throughs? That'd be a good question. Ah, it's the 3 8 drive. I didn't see that until too late. I don't want 3 8 drive. We need quarter inch. So that's not happening today. But at any rate, if you guys are working on Euro cars, <clears throat> the quarter inch VIM, triple square, those are the ones you want. So we live to save another day. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and get up out of here. I got an engine to do on a Mazda Miata. Um, looks pretty fairly straightforward and easy to do. So after that, we'll see you guys back at the house. Yeah, a little Mazda Miata engine. Got the one over there on the pallet. All right, what's going on everyone? Justin again, as always, thanks for watching my channel. Welcome back. So we did get onto Jeff's tool truck. Um, I believe we already did the June catalog review. It's too bad those VIM sockets weren't available in quarter inch. I didn't have an immediate need for them, but this week I've already had a need for them once. Last week I had a need for them, and then a couple weeks before that I had a need for them. So. You can see that there, it's, there's a need, okay? There's a need. Also, Cornwell, back in business, showed up today. I asked him to hang out after work because we were in the process of parking cars. In his defense, he did hang out for about 25 minutes. We had a lot of cars to park. Unfortunately, by the time I got done parking these cars, he was no longer available and he ended up booking it. So, next Monday, hopefully, we'll see him back at the shop and we'll introduce you to Mr. Tim. And I already talked to him and I asked him how he felt about being on a camera. He said he doesn't have a problem with it. So we'll be able to talk to Tim, check out some stuff that he has on his truck. He did leave us with a Cornwell catalog, okay? So on the front here, looks like we got a uh, screwdriver torque sets. So if you guys are looking for the handled, look, they got high vis green, blue, and the Torx driver kit. These things do come in handy for various things under the hood, as well as like, tail lights and things like that. The double flex end, double box ratchet wrenches were also a favorite of mine. 
but not at 500 bucks, but they have them, they have them, okay? Couple of air tools on the other side. They had some really long picks. Now I do like the marshmallow handles, okay? Back when, was it Jim was doing the Cornwall uh, tool truck? I think his name was Jim. Might be mistaken. It's been a little while. It's been almost a year since we had a Cornwall rep. Any rate, marshmallow handles, very comfortable grip. They have them blue, high vis, and green. I think those are actually some pretty good solid color options uh, when you think about it. I, I, I'm not a huge fan of the red. Some people are. I get it. Toolboxes. Uh, hit and miss. I do like the little carrying one, okay? Not at 300 bucks, but I like it. And did I just see that right? Portable mechanic table. They want 480. These things come in at 100 bucks. Not really sure what Cornwell's thinking there. Coming in at 480 on that. It's gonna, he's gonna have a tough run. I, I wish Tim the best of luck. We'll see how he does. Here today, gone tomorrow. Don't know. We'll see. He also has some Easy Red rebranded Cornwell uh, collapsible magnetic trays. I have a handful of these. They do come in handy. I like the regular magnetic ones, but the soft silicone ones work too. Allen's, Torx bits, Tamper Torx bits, E-Torx, lots of different sets here. Uh, flip it to the next page. Some smaller picks, some hammers, a center punch. Okay, we got a handful of things here. Knipics, wobbles, extensions, adapters, step down, step ups. I'm not an over the top huge fan of some of the ratchets. Okay, some of the ratchets, they come in at still like 72T, they're 36T. I feel like they're a little bit behind and the ratchets, so I, I've never had a huge overwhelming desire to buy Cornwell ratchets, not never. So that's my thought process. Air tools though, the air tools are pretty legit, okay? I used to own a lot of their air tools back in the day before I started selling out of them and trading into other things. The air tools are pretty legit if you're, if you're asking me about Cornwell. I've used them, I've abused them. Some of them have lasted for like 10 plus years, okay? Flashlights, flashlights suck, okay? I did buy one of these tinier ones, plug-in USB, same issue that we had with the, uh, the Harbor Freight Icon. If you leave it plugged in too, too long, guess what? She doesn't want to work anymore. It's the way they go. So I'm not really a huge fan of whatever they did. Now, granted, most of these say Streamlight. So the Streamlight flashlights, they're okay. But some of the other smaller ones they had that are not made by Streamlight, that are rebranded Cornwell, not okay. Not okay in my book. Uh, they do have a rechargeable headlamp, um, kind of trying to do like what Easy Red did. Not sure how comfortable or uncomfortable they are. They come in at 50 bucks. Okay, now we're getting down a little bit more reasonable, right? All tell scan tools. We got some um, power probe stuff, strippers, battery jump packs, things like that. Nothing too crazy. Uh, they got the uh, chassis ears by Steelman. Looking for something standout-ish. Looking for it, looking for it. They got Mighty Vac things, air lifts, AC tools, drain buckets, uh, axle nut sockets, nylon sockets, measurement gauges for brakes, blocks, jacks, and they also have an interior tool trim kit at $65, okay. A couple things that are down there in the affordable range now. Not a whole bunch, not a whole bunch, but a couple things. Welding hoods, I'm thinking, you know, for what the price they're asking for, be better off at going to Tractor Supply, Harbor Freight, or even Home Depot, to be honest, okay? Some knives, and then some AC machines. So that'll wrap it up for the Cornwell June Catalog Review. We're going to meet up with Mr. Tim, hopefully, this next week. He's looks like he's going to be showing up on Mondays, so you might get a back-to-back -back versus Gear Ranch versus Cornwell, so... Be looking for that. That's all I got for today's video. Hope you guys found it beneficial. Look, I did make an attempt to go on this weekend to work. Bad things happened. The threads on the actual block itself popped and stripped out. So now we have to heal a coil basically every single cylinder head bolt. So that's no bueno, which means Friday night, probably not gonna do TGIF. I voluntarily had said that I would come in Friday evening start working on our head gasket uh, or our, our cylinder head job for the Hyundai leading into Saturday, go back Saturday, finish it up or try to finish it up. So that way at least they can hopefully have Sunday off because 
I'm tired, man. This last weekend, I worked like the majority of the weekend. You know what I mean? Like I, I worked half a day Saturday and then the rest of the time I'm cleaning house and putting baby crib together and just trying to tidy things up. The last weekend was a three day weekend. I had one day off that weekend and I worked two days. So I'm looking forward to having a weekend off. It's just not this upcoming weekend. So Friday night, probably working at the shop. If we do do a and a at all, it's gonna be at the shop real briefly while I get back to work. Saturday, probably gonna go back through and finish it up. So that's what happened with that. That's why part of the video clip you kind of saw. And then we went right into our Mazda job today, which also didn't pan out. A lot of things didn't transfer over. Now we're having to figure out some camshaft issues, some timing issues, some other gasket issues that we're not gonna see until tomorrow. So way rough way to start a Monday. Anyway, that's all I got for this video. Thanks as always for watching my channel. If there's something that you wanna see in particular, a tool that you're interested in, a review that you want, feedback on, something that I might still have, let me know. Leave it down in the comments and I'll jump back on and get back back to you guys. That's all I got. We'll see you guys next time. Cheers and deuces.